Welcome back. This is, I suppose you could think of this as part three of my rain barrel pump system videos. If you haven't seen the first two about how to sort of bring rain into your house and uh, you ha use an on-demand pump to send it out to the garden or whatever you want to use it for, um, there's links to those in the description. Um, but here I want to show you how I hooked up the rain barrels to my toilets. So you can see here, the I mean, I'm a little bit lucky in that the the PEX is just right here. So this is the city water that goes off to the kitchen and it comes from wherever it comes in the city. And it used to just go straight here and into the toilet and up into the, um, the bathroom. Um, and so what I did was I basically cut out this piece that used to be straight and just used to go up and over. And I replaced it with this big long thing that you can see has a lot of different pieces. So this line here is the rainwater. And then this line over here is the is the city water. So what I've done is I've got a valve. So currently it's running city water. It hasn't rained here in a couple weeks. So uh, we're flushing with city water, which means there's actually a valve back by the, um, there's a special sort of, at the beginning of this, I've got the valve turned off by the rain barrel. So basically not, no water is coming from the pump. All the water is coming from the city. So what are these pieces? Well, first you've got to have uh, a joint to the original on either side. Then I've got a short piece that's a few centimeters long that goes into the valve. Then I've got a joint that goes into this one-way valve. This is really important in my opinion. I don't think I want, uh, you know, unclean rainwater getting into the rest of my uh, house's um, water supply. So this one-way valve means that city water can go this way, but rainwater should never go back up into the rest of my house. Um, then I've got this little joint here coming to a T-valve, which this side comes from the rain barrel, and then it goes up to the toilet. So again, the one-way valve I think is really important that keeps the rainwater, because you have no idea what's growing in the, in the rain barrels. It's not clean. You don't want to get yourself and your family sick. So the rainwater comes in here, it gets blocked from ever going back into the house, and if the valve back at the pump is on, then rainwater comes up and you flush your toilet. Every time you'll hear the on-demand pump comes. Uh, it's really funny when you have guests over and they ask what the sound is and you can tell them all about your cool rain barrel system. Um, then, like I said, right now we don't have any rain, so I have the pump turned off back at the pump and I've got the city water turned on. And that's really all there is to it. If you can gain access to, your, uh, to the line that runs to your toilet, then it's trivially easy to just put in this kind of thing. So, uh, spacer, valve, spacer, one-way valve, spacer, T to the rain barrel, and then rejoint it back on. And this is pretty cool. It's really reduced our water usage. So in my municipality, they charge us for the sewer is metered as well as the water incoming. Normally those are pretty balanced when I get my water bill uh, in the past. It's really funny to see it come in now that we're like putting way more water into the sewer than we're taking from the city because you'd be surprised how much you actually take uh, with just flushing your toilets. And so this is just a nice way to conserve water. Use some of that rainwater you're collecting and yeah, so um, if you haven't seen my, my rain barrel pump system videos, I would suggest you go watch those. And thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I think that would really help me out with this channel. If you like these kinds of videos, I do lots of random projects. I do a lot of sort of environmental stuff. I do a lot of DIY stuff. Um, yeah, so subscribe, share this with a friend. It would really help the channel out and, and convince me to keep doing more videos. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time.